Okay, so spring 2009, the look that we're doing tonight is beautiful skin, lashes, lips, and cheeks. I mean, it's, it's, this is a very simple, simple, beautiful look. We're gonna start off with Sheer Focus and Luminous, one of my favorite products. And actually, I'm gonna use a finger application because I want a really natural finish to our skin. And if you see again, like I always say, I start in the center of the face and blend out. You know, with Sheer Focus, we have five different shades. Luminous is the shade that is basically colorless. It does have a beige undertone to it, so it will neutralize a little redness and imperfections, but anybody can wear it. It just creates that incredible, incredible luminous glow on the skin. So we even the skin tone out with Luminous Sheer Focus. I'm gonna go in with High Definition Foundation in F0, which is actually a fantastic color. Um, it's very beigey, it's not too pink, it's not too yellow. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger like that, I'm gonna go right in the T-zone, and just give her a little extra coverage right through here. You know, women have specific areas that need to be covered here, around the nose, and on the chin. Again, we're gonna keep it really natural, but I want her to look flawless. So I'm gonna show you a concealer application that's very light and very natural. Um, I'm gonna take concealer brush number four. I'm gonna start in here, just like we always talk about. That's where most of the darkness is. Blend out, blend up. And just cover any pink, discoloration. The reason I think that I love full coverage camerated concealer is because it's very emollient. You know, it has that kind of nice, kind of like skin like texture, but it has soft focus powder in it as well, so it sets itself. This is something really cool for the look. We're gonna use our blush rush on the lid, which is kind of a pinky gold color. So just give a nice flush on the lid. It's gonna be a wash. And what we're doing is washing it over the lid and working it into the natural crease. So we're not gonna have any crease embellishment. You're not gonna see a lot of uh, emphasis on the eye. It's gonna be just a wash of color. I have a preference when it, you, when it comes to Jet Set. I love using number 20 brush, but since this liner is so tight in the inner rim, I'm gonna take number 21 brush, so I don't want it smudging into the lash line. And I'm working in small little sections. I'm loading up the product. I'm gonna lift the eye down and work in small sections. Flipping my brush this way, working in small sections. For this look, I do not want the Jet Set to smudge into the lash line. This isn't a smolder. This is tight and clean. So I'm gonna have Sammy look down to the floor. I'm gonna lift her brow so she has no room for move, like eye movement. And I'm gonna get it in the lashes. So you have a fully encased eye, but you don't have that smolder. This look is so tight and clean, we do have to have lashes. Lashes are gonna be the focus. So basically, you know, lining that inner rim up on the top, we were trying to create some depth in the lash. So what I wanna do is deposit most of the mascara in the base of the lash and lift out. If you, do you notice how I'm applying with my brush? Um, I keep lifting the brush this way and what it does is it coats up the lashes insane. So it gives you a lot of volume and a lot of definition and a lot of separation. The fantastic thing about this look is we uh, use chiffon on her eyes and we have double duty here. We're gonna use chiffon on her cheeks as well. So I'm gonna take our number one powder brush because I wanna give her a nice full flush. And just give her that really pinky flush, working in circular buffy motions. I am moving it down on the apple just a little bit. So she has that nice, really, really, really cute, pretty pink flush. The reason I love the chiffon is, is I'm not a big fan of pink. All girls love pink, but this pink has gold in it. So it makes it a little more wearable, I think, for anybody. Um, I love when we get to do looks that are very easy, and we're going to O-Gloss, which is intuitive. It creates your own natural lip color, and we're gonna give her that, a beautiful pink lip. So you see it's going on clear, and it's so amazing because it stays glossy, and then it stains your natural color. So this stays on all day long. It hydrates the lips, it's so beautiful. Really effortless. This is the last step. So we're gonna go in with artificial light. We're gonna amp up the skin, give her a little more glow. And we're gonna go right down the bridge of the nose, as you can see. Just give her that really beautiful, kind of like cool, beautiful, look at that. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Always when you're applying artificial light, use a patting motion, rubbing disturbs makeup. Right here, just patting lightly, giving her a glow on her cheeks. Just that nice, like soft little, luminosity around the cheekbone here. Not overly radiant, 
but just a little bit right there, just to give her a little shine on her cheeks. So this is our very clean 2009 fresh spring sophisticate look. Um, it's, it reminds me of a socialite, a beautiful French socialite. Sam, you love it. Uh -huh.